How's it going guys? Happy Saturday. We have some more news on motorsport games uh, and whenever <clears throat> I hear stuff about like this kind of news, uh, I like to make a video on it just to keep you guys updated because I mean, I don't find these articles. I get them sent to me via people what, what in my uh, the, the Patreon and the Discord. They send it to me, so I appreciate them. As always, Lex, obviously, thank you for sending this to me, but I don't need to say thank you to you. Get out of here. All right, but <laughs> we move on. I want to give a shout-out to all those Patreon members as well. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, as you always do. And thank you guys to all of you for watching, supporting, liking, subscribing, and everything else. So what is the news? Well, I'm going to take you to an article here in a quick second. Essentially, Motorsport Games... What was it? Three weeks ago? Something like two weeks ago? Something like that? Uh, the board directors left. They didn't have investment. Whatever was going on. Yada, yada, yada. You guys all know the deal. We made a video on that because I made a video talking about NASCAR 23. And the day after or that night, one of the two, um, the board directors left. So then things were going like, what the heck's going on? Um, and so the news came out. I think it was two days ago. News came out that Motorsport Games has entered uh, an equity purchase agreement. Now, again, if you guys want to either define or help me figure out the, the little details of each term, uh, please let, let, let me know in the comments down below. And so let's actually get to this article and we'll discuss it a little bit more. Okay, guys, this is the article from Yahoo Finance. Now, <clears throat> remember everything you read here. Uh, if you want to explain in the comments down below, just let me know um, because it is a lot of stock business and all that stuff um, going on. So, uh, Motorsport Games uh, has entered into the equity purchase agreement at the moment. It's also important to know right, right there above my camera, you can see MSGM 5.05. Uh, now look, I guess below my camera, there it is. Uh, the, that was the last price. So that's their, I guess, price on the stock market at the moment. Um, and, and that's what it is. The pattern is bullish, whatever all that means for uh, you stock market investors. Um, but this was released, I guess, yesterday. Uh, today's December 10th. So I guess this article was released. I thought it was released two days ago, but it's released yesterday. So uh, from Miami, uh, Motorsport Games uh, or the company. So every time it refers to the company, it will be referring to Motorsport Games today has announced that the company has entered into a purchase agreement, the agreement with an investor for up to two million dollars. Keyword there, investor, investor. So one investor, um, which uh, the amount may increase at the company's option to ten million dollars. Um, and so that's yeah, that's very big news. So I guess initially it's two million increase at the company's option which means i guess motorsport games can increase that option uh up to 10 million dollars that is a lot of money for a video game company and so we'll see how uh that goes um under the terms and conditions of the agreement the company has the right but not the obligation to sell to the investor up to two million of its shares of common stock remember the, that stock is like basically like sitting there because the board of directors left so now they're going to sell that common stock to this investor and get the uh, the funding they need, I guess, for what, what is going on. Uh, the amount may increase at the company's option for up to $10 million in those shares of common stock uh, until December 31st, 2023, subject to certain limitations. Off first glance, again, I'm just giving my opinion here, guys. This date right here is very, very important. So... It may increase at the company's option up to 10 million in shares until December 31st, 2023. So this seems like a short term investment for whoever this investor is. According to my knowledge in this article, it doesn't say who the investor is. I don't know if they have to say it. I don't know if they have to release that information or anything, but I don't know who the investor is. Um, until December 31st, that means Motorsport Games has one year with this investor uh to i guess provide a return on investment because motorsport games as you guys know they just burn through money like they they lose money quarterly yearly all the time and so there has to be a return on investment uh there has to be some faith that they can put forth a good game and also make money while doing so uh and so it seems like this investor has given them one year in order to prove that with two million dollars or ten million that's a lot of money and also like just from the outside looking in you give two million dollars to motorsport games they they are losing money consistently they haven't shown that they could 
provide you that return on investment. So it's a little bit crazy to me that you put that investment together. But hey, maybe this guy or girl or company or whatever it is has a lot of money and they have money to burn and they just want to do it. I don't know what it is, but you know, millionaires can do crazy things. Or maybe this guy's a billionaire. Who, who knows? But um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of money. Uh, and I guess we'll see how it goes. So Motorsport Games will have a year. In this year, there should be an IndyCar game, right? That should come out. There should be a NASCAR game. That should come out. And another Nintendo Switch game, but I don't technically count that because, you know, it's the Nintendo Switch, we kind of know what it's going to be. The NASCAR game and the IndyCar game, we don't know what it's going to be. Those are the flagship titles that Motorsport Games has. And they have to prove that they can release a good game. Uh, they don't have the trust of the community, of their customers, uh, in order to release the right game. They have to show that they can release the right game. Any marketing they do, anything they tease, any trailers they put out, any gameplay footage they put out, anything they say or do will be met with criticism and trepidation. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Trepidation. Hesitation. Um, that's what they're going to be at because that is the reputation of the company. So... Um, until they put forth that good game uh, that 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 is uh, worthy of purchasing, worthy of your time and, and enjoying, and maybe could provide that return on investment, you know, until then, I feel like the company will always be in limbo and just waiting. Uh, so they have one year to prove it, right? If I'm reading this correctly, guys, they have one year to prove it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about that. Uh, what do you think is going to happen there? Uh, let's continue on any shares of common stock that is sold to the investor will occur at a purchase price that is, is determined in part by prevailing market prices at the time of each sale. That is that price over here. Again, if you look below my camera, MSGM last price 505. Um, I guess so each stock will be at that price. Um, and so that I guess the company which Motorsport Games could sell that uh, to the investor at those times. The investor has agreed not to cause or engage in any short selling or hedging of the company's common stock. The company issued common shares to the investor as consideration for the investor's uh, commitment to purchase the company's common stock under the agreement. And then Dimitri Costco had some more to say. Uh, he said, we are pleased. Eh, eh. But there we go. We are pleased to enter into the purchase agreement and expect to use the, pro the proceeds as available for product development and other business purposes. This transaction provides us with addi additional, flex uh, additional financial flexibility as we continue to execute on our business plan, said Dimitri Costco, the CEO and executive. So, yeah, I, I guess uh, for product development and other business purposes uh, provides us with ad ad additional fle financial flexibility as we continue to execute our business plan. What that business plan is... I don't know. Take a guess. I mean, I guess releasing video games. Um, and I guess we will see how that goes. So essentially what this investor is doing is the company stays afloat, right? If this investor didn't come along, what would have happened? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm questioning. If the investor never came along, is that it? Because the company wouldn't have enough cash resources to keep going. So it is it, like, is it really that simple? <laughs> is it that simple? Like, you know, to, yeah, it's just kind of crazy to think about it. Um, that this is the future of, of, of NASCAR and IndyCar gaming. It's the future of American motorsport gaming is, is with motorsport games. So it's, it's just pretty crazy. Um, and seeing like the situation that it's in. So I guess this is good news for them at the moment. Let's continue on. I don't think there's much more left. Uh, the foregoing, foregoing summary agreement is incomplete and further details relating to the agreement, including additional terms and conditions and yada 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 forms and legal stuff and press da, 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 and just about and then the rest of the article is just about motorsport games and a bunch of legalities and all of this other stuff so uh i don't think we really got to talk about that um you know nascar indycar 24 hour lama i forgot they had 25 24 hour lama uh that's probably pretty big for them uh the btcc R Factor 2, Cartcraft, that's everything that NASCAR has or uh, Motorsport Games has. Um, they are apparently a partner of the World Rallycross Championship as well. I did not know that. Um, and the E NASCAR Heat Pro League, where is that? <laughs> the E NASCAR Heat Pro League, it, that has been dead for, I mean, it's still the Heat Pro League. It's dead. Uh, they got to rename that. So, and whenever they can actually get a game that functions, then they could probably do esports again. And that's probably where a lot of their. Um, Revenue could also come is from esports gaming, but they have to provide a good enough game in order to make the revenue 
of the esports side of it. So yeah, you gotta make a good game. So that is basically the article. I mean, there is more. Um, again, you go to Yahoo Finance and find all this, but it's the rest of it's just you know, just normal stuff, just summaries and stuff. So that's that's the the deal. Up to ten million dollars for Motorsport games. It's that's a lot of money. We'll see how it goes. You guys know my feelings on this. I just want good games. This likely means that those games are coming out. Uh, mo uh, the IndyCar game and the NASCAR game. It seems like those games will come. I just really hope that they're good. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else you can do. It's just kind of we give the feedback and just sit around and wait. And that's going to be it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you happy about this news? Are you upset about this news? If you don't like Motorsport games, you're probably upset because you want, you know, just want it to go to somebody else. If you want a new game for 2023, the only way that happens is with Motorsport games. Um, so I guess this is good news for you guys. Uh, we'll see. They obviously need to deliver a good game uh, and... and I guess n no one's going to trust them until they do that, until you literally have the game in your possession, or you've seen enough people say, oh, it's actually good, then, um, you know, everyone's just going to keep doubting them for now. So we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's going to be it for me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy uh, the World Cup if you're watching that. It's been absolutely insane. Morocco has just advanced to the semifinals of the World Cup. That is insane. Um, thank you guys, as always, for supporting the channel and everything. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And if there's any more news or anything about Motorsport games or the NASCAR games or even the IndyCar game, please, uh, you know, the Patreon members send me the Discord or uh, send me the links in Discord. But uh, if you find it first, send me a DM on Instagram or on Twitter, uh, and I'll, I'll try to respond there. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.